Right, subscribe. And Julie. Voila. You are my 500th subscriber I'm on so YouTube, a channel which I started a long time ago and it's taken me so long. And what can you say about that? I want to thank my mom <laughs> and my father for this, for like having me and giving me the chance and opportunity to follow your channel. Thank you very much. You're number 500. <laughs>It's early April, oof, and it is a cold morning, I can tell you. Alright, let's check this level. Ah, lost a little bit. Not too bad. So hello to you, um, I'm John, and to mark my 500th subscriber, I'm going to film some of my day. Yep. I woke up this morning at 5.30, it's a Tuesday morning, and it's an early start. Well, most of my mornings are an early start, yep. and that's the time I'd normally get up. As a weekend slightly later and as you saw in the initial footage I was taking my dog for a walk and that's what I do practically every morning it's a kind of a habit gives me a chance to get some fresh air and also my dog uh, to do the necessary things that he has to do Right now I'm on my way to work, um, I teach English as a second or other language and I'm going to go, I'm on my way to my first customer, it's in a small company, uh, lessons start at 6.30am, would you believe it's the earliest start I have all week. At this moment, I ought to mention uh, what I was doing, uh, checking the uh, fluid level, the antifreeze. Well, um, I've been experiencing a loss of fluid over the past week or so, and my mechanic has advised me to keep an eye on the fluid level. So that's what I've been doing. Um, the problem is the water pump and it's going to have to be replaced uh, immediately or very soon. Just take you through my day. Um, this particular lesson will be finishing um, 7.30. Then I'm going to go home for about an hour and a half. And then I'll be going to uh, my next students, uh, one of which... Uh, some of them are uh, private individuals having face-to-face -face tuition and uh, also I teach at, I teach children, primary school children at uh, the, one of the uh, private schools in my area so I hope to show you a bit of footage from, from uh, those places at least um, from one or two of the lessons just so that you can see what I get up to. So in just a moment, I'll be arriving at my first destination, uh, ready to start my first lesson. Here we have it.
What do you think of the video five years ago, Thomas? Uh, not Thomas, Michael. Thomas, Michael. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> it's very old and uh, very funny. Yeah, Remick? Make, uh, yeah, we are still handsome. <laughs> right, and Thomas? Yeah, we're still young, we still learn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still young. <laughs> and? Sorry. Okay. So that was the first lesson of the day, uh, really nice and entertaining, hope you enjoyed uh, some of that footage, uh, so now I'm going to go home, as I mentioned for an hour and a half, have some breakfast, do some preparation work for the next classes, and we'll see how it goes from there. to the next uh, student, uh, it's one of my older ones, and um, just to say that a few years ago, I think it was around 2018, um, I, um, I made a video of my day, well at that time I had one of my students filming that particular day, and it will be in the link at the end of the video, so if you want to see my day from a couple of years ago, check it out there. Um, after this lesson I'm going to treat you to uh, let's say a little surprise uh, something I sometimes do in my car so stay tuned stay tuned so just arriving at my next port of call for a 45 minute lesson so um, now I'm on my way to the school and this is the sort of cringe moment in the video because you're going to hear me sing. Um, one of the things I sometimes do in my car is to practice my singing. Um, it's a safe place, nobody else can uh, hear me. Um, I'm not sure if I, my voice is that good. You can judge for yourself. I'm going to sing for you a song which I think is appropriate for Easter week. Uh, the title is Here I Am to Worship. It's a gospel song and there's going to be some backing music to it. So uh, have a listen. I hope you enjoy it. The position of the camera so that no other driver can see me singing. Uh, the title of the song is Here I Am to Worship, which is um, appropriate for Easter week. So have a listen. I'll just put on the backing music. Don't think there's a band in my car. Yeah. 
So here we are, here we are in the market town of Strinner. And in a few minutes time I'm going to be taking my classes here. In that building over there. And I'll be finishing about two o'clock so I hope you enjoy some of the footage from the lessons. I managed to do any of it. Fantastic, isn't it? Super! That is really cool! What's the name of the dance? Good! Go. Go, 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 go. Hey! <laughs> That's Not good. Oh! <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't have to be countries. It can be anything beginning with C. So that's the end of a very eventful morning, particularly at school. Uh, as you saw there, some songs and the kids having a great time. So now I'm going to go home for lunch. I've got a uh, spot of translation to do as well. Short job which I have to get done for three o'clock and then I've got my afternoon sessions after that. So all individual lessons which start from 4.30 and finish at 9 p.m. So I still got a long day ahead of me. Okay, now, uh, it's gonna be a bit of ranting on for a few minutes. Um, I'm gonna try and answer the question. Is it easy being a YouTuber and what do you need to be to be successful as a YouTuber? Well, I can't really answer the second question because, I mean, with just over 500 subs, I'm not a successful YouTuber. I like what I'm doing. It's my hobby. I'm passionate about it. Um, to answer the first question um, so is it easy being a youtuber well it's easy if you like what you're doing I suppose it's easier something like uh, a serious undertaking uh, requires a lot of hard work a lot of research but uh, passion 
and to like what you're doing uh, is very important and that will ultimately boil down to success so I know what it takes to be a successful YouTuber whether I'll ever be one time will tell but to answer that particular question I guess it's all about sticking to one theme so if you're going to be doing travel vlogs focus on travel vlogs if you're going to be pro gaming then just focus on that don't choose too many topics such as myself yeah well, I do it as a hobby as I've said and I like what I'm doing if success comes so be it but um, if you're going to treat it professionally the other thing is to be consistent and to churn out content in that way you'll get the hours you'll get the subs and your channel will ultimately grow so another question I get asked is what is my channel all about I've got actually I've got four main channels on YouTube and they're all channels the others are channels below 500 subs one's a Polish language channel which is called John Polster uh, there's another Polish language channel which is John's Music Box Polster so that's also a Polish song channel and then there's uh, John's Music Box which uh, is uh, with music content only as a kind of like music and like, like singing so those are my channels um, as far as the main channels concerned I mean this one and the Polish one my mission is to inform really I do this uh, for a hobby I don't earn any money on this my mission is to choose uh, topics um, based on local history uh, sport and subjects I'm interested in uh, and uh, by doing that um, I, I'm let's say educating other people and informing at the same time so I'm just about to arrive at my next student's house it's a young girl called F and this is the name of the street is family street um, the, I mean there's four of their families living here so I'm just arriving um, I'm now going towards my next uh, student she's uh, there on your uh, right is a basilica so we have a beautiful spring and Easter decorations here oh, thank you uh, did much. you did you make this yourself but your mum made this yes. one, yeah. This is our from our garden. Lovely. And this and this I bought in our market in mm -hmm. our church on the last uh, Saturday, yes, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, of course. Wonderful. Well, yes. good work. Good work. <laughs> That's right. Oh, and this is one, the next one is what I used a few minutes ago. Yes, cut. Uh, cut. Catch. 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 Okay, the ball. Catch the ball. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, catch. So catch. That's... C-A-T-C-H. Oh, okay. C-A-T-C-H. Okay. Catch. And the same. That's like right. Past. Quite often they're going to be the same. Mm -hmm. The past simple and the past participle. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got fall next. Fall. Uh, fault? Uh, no. Fall. Fell. Fall. Right, so we've got fall, fell. Felt. Uh, no, actually it's not fell, no? because felt is from fuel. Okay. Fallen. 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 Okay. Fallen. Okay. Like, uh, like Satan was the fallen angel. 
Okay, fine. So yes, yes, you know. Sentence. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then we got gay. Uh, give. That's right. As an infinitive. Give. Give. Given. Great. What's the question? How do you spend your afternoons? How do I spend my afternoons? Yes. Well, just like I'm spending now. Mm -hmm. um, normally, I teach in the afternoons, um, especially at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I'm teaching um, in the afternoons, let's say the so-called second shift, mm -hmm. well, that's something like two o'clock to nine o'clock. That's what I'm doing today. Oh so during the week, Monday to Friday, I'm teaching. Okay. Saturday, Sunday is a different matter. Okay. Yeah. So we that, don't have the free. So afternoons. Saturday afternoon would either be shopping mm -hmm. or working in the garden. Sunday, absolutely with the, the family. <laughs> so Sunday with the family, relaxing and spending time with them. So that's that's the weekend. That's how I spend my time. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with that answer? Yes, of course. <laughs> Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain John speaking on this fine evening. The time is approaching 6.35pm and I'm on my way to uh, my next student, his name is Kayatan. Now Kayatan actually went on the London trip with me uh, two weeks ago and I'm going to ask him he agrees to be filmed or what he thought of that trip. Let's hope he says something uh, because I haven't had too many students saying something to you in this footage. So let's hope Kai Tan can make amends for that. Yeah? It's actually a nice evening. Um, temperatures about uh, 6 degrees temperature, uh, de 6 degrees Celsius, and we'll be arriving at Kayatan's house in approximately five minutes from now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the There's journey. Some nice views just ahead. Um, behind the trees is a local fishing lake. Uh, a lot of at the weekends, a lot of people come here with their caravans and they go fishing. One of the things about this job is you do get to do a lot of driving you know you're going from house to house all week and uh, also an opportunity to admire the scenery the, um, when you've been doing this for a number of years you do see the changes so that's what makes the job even more let's say interesting like here a few years ago or three years ago this is a terrible place Terrible isn't the word I should be using, but rather drab. They, they've uh, they spent two years building, or even three years building, rebuilding the local railway infrastructure so that high-speed trains could uh, travel through. And the, for example, the Vienna trains come through uh, this particular village. Uh, they go via the Czech Republic. As a, as a fun fact for this video. So soon we'll be arriving at Kaiten's house uh, for, for the next lesson, which will last something like, should be 90 minutes. So actually, I'll, I wonder if it will be like when we finish. Uh, maybe this will be the last, less, the last bit of daylight I show you in the video, but uh, who knows? I, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe it'll still be daylight. Before we have a look at the mark, this is a... Uh, Kayatan, um, who actually went on a London trip in a small group which I organised two weeks ago um, and he's just showing me his mug and he'd like to say something about that trip to London um, so you were there, it was your first trip to London yeah. your first trip to the UK how do you feel about it? what can you say? Mm, it was very nice uh, I was uh, in London, as you said, for the first time mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't know a lot of things and uh, for me it was uh, very interesting and uh, I want to go a second time to London. Well, I was hoping you would say that actually. 
I was hoping you would say that. Would it be、um, for one day or would it be for a longer period? I think、uh, longer period would be nice, for example, three days. Yeah.、Like、mhm. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, as you can see or not see, I've been beaten by daylight. And、I'm on my way to the final lesson of the day with a young guy called Max, who's going to be taking his matura exam, which is equivalent to the A levels. And then、uh, I'll summarise the whole day at the end, maybe in the car. I'll switch on the interior light in a moment, which I shouldn't really do. I've been here before, actually. This morning, I had a lesson with Max's mum. There you go.、Uh, so this time, it's going to be with Max, and、uh, let's see how we get on. I'm glad that Kaitan agreed to say a few things. So there you are. There you have it. Oh, and the gate is closed as usual. I have to call Max for him to open the gate. Max,、uh, could you open the gate, please? Yeah, thanks a lot. So it's the final lesson of the day, and we're going to do some exam practice. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember where we actually finished?、Uh, I have to find. Yeah, because honestly speaking, I don't. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what. I'll just get out my my folder as well,、okay. and then we'll we'll get on with the business.、Uh, so we've only got how long? Five or six weeks to go. Yeah, not long, but we'll do it, won't we?、Mm-hmm. I would rather, I would prefer to get there by plane rather than by coach. So now on the voiceover, I'm going to summarise my day.、Um, you'll see uh, just uh, some snippets of the whole day again, maybe two minutes of it. It's、uh, been a typical day,、um, albeit with、uh, two or three cancellations. Uh, uh, but in that time, I, I went home. And I did a bit of translation work.、Um, there weren't really any surprises, although the day is、uh, yet to end.、Um, there's another two and a half hours to three hours before midnight,、uh, so you know anything can happen. But hopefully, only good things can happen then.、Um, I might just show you a little bit of footage. Of me doing some editing on the,、uh, for my next YouTube video, which is something I very often do、um, when I finally、uh, had a shower and、uh, sat down before I go to bed.、Um, there is the private side to my life, the very private side, which means my family, my wife, and my sons.、Uh, Whom I've chosen not to include in this video for for want of privacy, and、um, I hope you've enjoyed spending、uh, the time with me. If you got to the end of this video, of course, and found it interesting,、uh, just to see how、uh, a native speaker, a native speaker of English, and a teacher of English as a second language.、Uh, Works here in Poland, a country that I've been living in for a long time, in fact. And some of those students I've been teaching for a few years as well, and I know them very well. And I'm really grateful to the ones who who agreed to be on film. Not all of them wanted to, which I also understand.、Uh, I respect people's privacies, so. 
once again, uh, I'd like to thank you and all the others for taking part in this day. I don't know when the next one will be. Uh, the last one was three, three years ago, my life in a day. The previous one was five years ago. So maybe in the next, uh, when I reach a thousand subscribers, uh, there'll be another opportunity to see my day. But that could be in a few years' time at this rate. So thank you once again, and see you soon in my next